Hi, this is Denver Riddle with you here from Color Grading Central. In this section, we'll cover how to set up a project for color grading. We can bring media into Resolve in one of five different ways. We can bring in individual clips as digital dailies or for online editing, as a baked or self-contained video, and with an EDL, an AAF, or an XML. In this section, we'll be covering how to perform each of these at length. In this introduction video, I first want to establish a basic understanding of these different workflows. Say for instance, you want to do onset dailies or just bring some clips into Resolve so you can begin online editing. In the media page, we can bring individual clips into Resolve by locating them in the library and importing them into the media pool by double clicking, by dragging and dropping, or by right clicking and choosing the option add into media pool. Once the clips are in the media pool, we've successfully brought them into Resolve and we can begin editing them in the edit page or color grading them in the color page. If we're given a job where all we have is a baked or self-contained video with no edits to work with, then we can import the video from the media page by right clicking and choosing the scene cut detect feature to split the video into cuts so that we can grade shots individually. And in most cases, we'll have an edited project to work from. In the edit page under the timeline management section, we can import an edited project and its associated clips using an EDL, an AAF, or an XML that's been generated by the editing application to create a timeline in Resolve that will match with the edit. If everything goes smoothly, then we should get a perfect one-to-one -one match between the grading timeline and the edited project. Then once we've finished grading a project, we can render it out and round trip it back to the editing application for finishing and final delivery. I hope that this makes sense and provides you with a basic understanding of how Resolve fits into the post-production pipeline. This tutorial is just an introduction, but in the tutorials up ahead, we'll drill down even deeper into each method.